What enduring qualities do you think make the 1977 movie Saturday Night Fever an everlasting symbol of the industry? This iconic film, directed by John Badham and starring John Travolta, has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Its portrayal of the disco era in Brooklyn, New York, offers a window into the vibrant and electrifying nightlife of the late 70s seconds. Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Perhaps it's the unforgettable dance floor sequences or the pulsating soundtrack featuring the BGs that still resonates with you. Saturday Night Fever isn't just a film, it's a time capsule of an era that continues to captivate audiences. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share how Saturday Night Fever has touched your life and why it remains a cultural touchstone. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show. Did you know that John Travolta initially didn't want to play the lead role of Tony Manero? Or that the famous white suit he wore became a symbol of disco fashion? These tidbits add a layer of intrigue to the film's legacy. So, what is it about Saturday Night Fever that keeps us coming back for more? It's infectious energy, relatable characters, and timeless themes of hope and self-discovery. This movie isn't just a relic of the past, it's a testament to the enduring power of cinema. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below, and let's celebrate the cultural impact of Saturday Night Fever together. It's a dance of nostalgia that still grooves to this day. Saturday Night Fever, the 1977 movie, found its own groove with the audience. It's got some hidden stories too, like the unedited version of How Deep Is Your Love that's still locked away. In 1993, it made a midnight comeback in Pasadena, California, to take on the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It started with the PG version but became so popular that a new R-rated print was made, and the midnight show spread to more cities. And here's a fun fact, Fran Drescher wasn't wearing underwear during a scene with Tony. Saturday Night Fever had moves and moments that still make people talk, years later. The movie Saturday Night Fever, released in 1977, was originally titled Tribal Rights of the New Saturday Night, inspired by a New York Magazine article. However, the title was shortened to Saturday Night because the film's characters, like Tony, frequented a place called 2001 Odyssey on Saturday nights. The Bee Gees submitted a soundtrack, and one of their songs, Night Fever, was thought to capture the film's spirit better. Director John Badham added Saturday to the title, replacing the original. This disco film features John Travolta in the lead role, but Donna Pescal had to audition for the role of Annette six times before getting the part. When she did, she expressed her relief at not having to work at Bloomingdale's during Christmas. To prepare for his character, John Travolta went to 2001 Odyssey with Norman Wexler to observe the behaviors of the cool, aggressive dancers who inspired the film's characters. He noted how the disco's alpha males kept their girlfriends in line and drew inspiration for Tony Manero's male chauvinist persona from their actions. In summary, Saturday Night Fever had its title changed, and John Travolta's research for his role involved observing the disco culture that inspired the film's characters. The 1977 movie Saturday Night Fever became a sensation, and one of the reasons was its irresistible music. The film's soundtrack had such danceable tunes that even theater staff couldn't resist grooving to the beats. In some cases, they went as far as choreographing and performing their own dance routines in the theater lobbies, delighting the moviegoers. The catchy songs in the film contributed significantly to its success, making it an iconic part of the disco era. John Travolta's memorable line, Just watch the hair, during a dinner scene wasn't scripted. It was his spontaneous reaction when Tony Manero, his character, got hit in the head. However, it fit the character so well that the line made it into the final cut of the film. Travolta's performance and authenticity added to the movie's appeal. The film's influence reached far and wide, even to places like Singapore. The government there banned Saturday Night Fever because teenagers were reenacting dangerous scenes from the movie, such as those involving the Verrazano Bridge, as a test of their manhood. These activities often occurred on overpasses or bridges with commuter trains passing underneath, leading to fatalities. In summary, Saturday Night Fever made a significant impact with its irresistible music, authentic moments like John Travolta's unscripted line, and even led to bans in some places due to its influence on young audiences. 
John Travolta's iconic pose in a white suit for the Saturday Night Fever poster wasn't planned. It was a last minute idea after a long day of shooting. John Travolta's sister Anne and mother Helen also had small roles in the film. To prepare for the movie, Travolta ran two miles a day and danced for three hours daily, shedding 20 pounds. Saturday Night Fever remains a classic from 1977, known for its unforgettable dance scenes and the unexpected poster pose, capturing the spirit of the disco era. Let's explore an interesting fact about the 1977 movie Saturday Night Fever. When Robert Stigwood visited the Bee Gees in France to ask them to write the soundtrack, they were busy mixing a live album. The group declined an offer to read the script but said they already had several song titles in mind, such as Stayin' Alive, Night Fever, and How Deep Is Your Love. Three days later, a tape was delivered to Stigwood in London containing demo versions of all the songs. These demos were used as playback on set and to choreograph and shoot the dance sequences. However, in post-production, a major problem arose when the final versions of the songs were delivered, and the editor found they were slower in tempo than the demos used on set, causing the dance sequences to be out of time with the new recordings. After much concern that the film was in jeopardy, a way was eventually found by the sound editors to sync the footage accurately with the final soundtrack. This behind-the-scenes challenge highlights the importance of music in Saturday Night Fever and the dedication to ensuring that the iconic dance sequences were perfectly synchronized with the soundtrack. It's a testament to the meticulous work that goes into creating a successful movie. This interesting tidbit offers a glimpse into the intricate process of making a film and the crucial role that music played in shaping the movie's distinctive atmosphere and energy. The movie Saturday Night Fever from 1977 is well known for its iconic soundtrack. One piece of music from the soundtrack, Manhattan Skyline by David Shire, became popular as background instrumental music. It has been used in movie trailers, promotional films, and commercials. This is the piece that Stephanie is dancing to when Tony invites her to coffee. The music played a significant role in setting the movie's tone and adding to its overall appeal. It became a lasting cultural phenomenon and is closely associated with the film. The soundtrack of Saturday Night Fever remains a classic in the world of cinema, making it a memorable part of the movie's legacy. As we bid adieu to the neon-lit dance floors and timeless grooves of 1,977 seconds cinematic gem, Saturday Night Fever, I invite you to take a moment and immerse yourself in the magic of this iconic movie. This electrifying journey through the life of Tony Manero, the king of the dance floor, serves as a timeless reminder of the power of music, the allure of the night, and the longing for something more. Let the disco beats transport you to the bustling streets of Brooklyn, where Tony's aspirations and struggles mirror our own desires for self-expression and escape. In this tale of dance, dreams, and the relentless pursuit of something greater, we discover the enduring, universal theme of the human spirit's resilience. Whether you were there when the movie first dazzled audiences or discovered it in later years, Saturday Night Fever has woven itself into the tapestry of our lives. Its unforgettable soundtrack, led by the Bee Gees chart-topping hits, continues to make our hearts race and our feet tap. So, let's groove in harmony with the memory of this disco sensation. Share your favorite memories, unforgettable moments, or the way it left an indelible mark on your life. Did it ignite your passion for dance? Or perhaps it inspired you to chase your own dreams? Your personal connection to Saturday Night Fever is a testament to the enduring power of cinema, and we'd love to hear your stories. Thank you for taking this time to reminisce and reflect with us. Your interest and enthusiasm make the cinematic journey all the more enriching. Until we meet again, keep dancing to the rhythm of your own life, and remember, we're here to listen. With a touch of cinematic nostalgia and a sprinkle of disco fever, this outro was crafted for you.